We Muslims read the Bible and we read verses like this. For example, for example, when people, we Muslims, we say Allah, Arabic it means the God. We say Allah knows everything. But, sir, you tell us that Jesus is God. If Jesus was God, then my question is this. I will read to you a verse from your Bible. Then I will ask you a question. Now, sir, in your Bible, in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 24, verse 36, Jesus is quoted as saying Jesus is quoted as saying in the Bible Jesus says no one no one knows about that day or our not even the angels in heaven nor the Son. That the last day, Jesus doesn't know the last day, the day of Kayama. Now, we say Allah knows everything. Why is created? If Jesus, sir, was God, why did, didn't Jesus know the last day? Our. Allah, can I explain it to you? Yeah, you're yeah, a very clever on. guy. Clever, I'm a in, in, <laughs> in weddings, the father had the prerogative to announce the wedding. On the wedding day, it was the father's right to announce the wedding. The Greek word for no is not the word no as in knowledge. It means the, uh, means the person has the right to announce, okay? So if you look at it and study it in the culture of the Jewish people, the father has the right to announce the wedding. That's what it's all about there. And if you don't believe me, read the context. And it's about the wedding context. He uses wedding context about the virgins and all the rest of it. But let me just finish here. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 10, 12, the wise men worshipped him at his birth. In Matthew 8, 2, the leper worshipped him when he healed him. In Matthew 9, 18, the young ruler worshipped him. In Matthew 14, 32, the disciples worshipped him. In Matthew 20, 20, the mother of James and John worshipped him. In John 9, 35, the blind man worshipped him. He's worshipped, worshipped, worshipped. If he was a prophet, why is he accepting worship? Can I thank you very much? Sir! I wanted to stop, but you, sir, you put me on... Carry on, sir! You just told us that Jesus was worship, worship, worship. You are trying to tell us that Jesus was God. Let me ask you, sir, when we read any Bible, whether it's the Orthodox Bible with 81 books or the Catholic Bible with 73 books, or the Protestant Bible with 66 books. When we read the Bible, it tells us in the book of Numbers, in the book of Numbers, chapter 31, verse 17. Okay, I won't make this point. I'll go back to Jesus. Jesus. Sir, Jesus. Jesus, this was about killings. I was going to say, but I'll, uh, one second, I'll keep it Jesus. Sir, sir, okay, sir, last one. Sir, in the book of Numbers, okay, you said to us that Jesus was worship, worship, worship. My question, sir, when we look in the gospel according to Matthew, 
when we look in the gospel according to Mark, when we look in the gospel according to Luke, when we look in the gospel according to John, it tells us, it tells us, Jesus, he bowed down, he prayed. Jesus, he looked up, he prayed. My question, if Jesus was God, and as you say that Jesus was worshipped, if Jesus was God, who did Jesus bow down to? Who did Jesus look up to? Who did Jesus pray to? My friend, my friend, good question. But first of all, first of all, we've seen many, many scriptures that Jesus was worshipped. For example, um, What's his name at the end of the Gospel of John? Um, what's the guy who said, my Lord and my God? Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, at the end of the Gospel of John, said, my Lord and my God. And Jesus did not say, don't worship me. So we have all these scriptures where people are worshipping him. The problem that you have as Muslims is you don't understand that we clearly believe that Jesus was a man, just like you. So not God. So we believe Both. that. Both. But we have these other scriptures and we take all the scriptures together and we hold them together and it talks about he is God and he is man. For example, in the Gospel of Mark, it says the Gospel according to the Jesus, the Son of God, Son of God title. At the end of the Gospel of Mark, when Jesus was crucified, they arrested him and put him on trial because of blasphemy, because they said he claimed to be God. And in John chapter 8, Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. Now, your Quran, you believe that your Quran is eternal and became paper. We're saying Jesus was eternal, but became a man. You're saying the word became paper. We're saying the eternal word, Jesus, became a man. Was Jesus a son of, did you say? Yes, Did you say? Sir, sir, I'll let you finish now and we're going to close. Okay, right. You have the last point. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir, okay, okay. sir, yes, you said earlier on that Jesus is the Son of God. Isaiah. Sir, when we read. Yes, don't worry, I know the Bible as well. Sir, earlier on you said Jesus is the Son of God. But when we read your Bible, Gospel according to Matthew, Gospel according to Luke, when we read the genealogy of Jesus, it tells us Jesus, son of Joseph. Now, is that true? I was going to let you finish. Do you want to continue? Okay, let me, let me tell you. Of course, but of, if course, the, if, of course it's true. He, Jesus, he's Joseph's son, but he's also the son of Okay, so he's, so he's Jesus. Also, but he's also the son of God. So, so Jesus is the son of Joseph, yes? And the son of God. God. How can... No, this, I know every baby in the world. They have one father and one mother. How can... God have two fathers. Let, let me explain, sir. Let me explain. How? Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Sir, sir, let me explain. Who said you were last time? He knows the English. Let me answer. Let me answer. Okay, go on. We need to shake hands. Okay, okay go on. I can speak. I can, I can so, speak. Son, son, he's a doctor. Okay, he is here to speak. Let him speak. Shake hands. God bless you. And till next week, Sorry, God bless you. because uh, Allah will have a great time to be with you. I've got a question. All right.